Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Blizzard 101, where today it looks like it's snowing in my little garden area, which I think is new. Normally, it, the weather doesn't show around here. Um, I got a bit obsessed last time trying to, uh, trying to fix up some set of things for my character, and I never really bothered to look around, because I know this area pretty well, but I bet you don't. So, let's just go along here. <laughs> the roots of the plant in the greenhouse. I don't know why they're all over right over here, but whatever. Oh, um... Ah, there it is. Yes, this whole section right here is a fake wall. I like the addition of the fake walls. They're adorable. And then, if I remember correctly... Yes. And this opens up to... Here. <laughs> I don't know what the point of the fake walls are when when you have nothing to be hiding from. Well, anyway. I've got rivers, I've got streams, I've got lakes, I've got ponds. And uh doesn't seem to be showing, but I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, isn't this supposed to be where that dual ring thing is? Or is that on the other side? I wouldn't know, because I rarely ever use that. Why would I? I don't have anyone to invite. And I don't think there's any secrets over here. And these last words. Um. Oh, this is really awkward. Got my keyboard all the way over. Alright, there we go. I hate that I have to play using a keyboard. closest I ever came to being able to jump over that ledge and I got I got glitched out and had to restart the game. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I don't really need this thing, but it's always nice to have, I guess. Then I'm back over here. So, I made a few little changes to my house. Nothing big for now, but big enough for me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay then. <laughs> so I've got some wallpaper up in here. Hi. Got some carpets, the bri the frozen braziers, more wallpaper, crates. It's so quiet in here without any music, so I'm gonna have to look for a music player at some point. Why don't the housing units just come with their own music? And a lot of pets. I went a little crazy, I'll admit, off screen. Well, not just off screen, I think some of it was recorded in the last episode. But, here's the thing, all I wanted, <laughs> at first, was a Christmas tree, and then I was looking for a dining room table. <laughs> I swear that's how this started. But also, something I was looking for that didn't happen while I was, uh, blowing my crowns on these packs. Every once in a while, one of these packs will offer a, uh, a spell. Not like the spellament or, like, crafting thing, but like just a legitimate spell that you can use. I remember one of my, uh, characters either got the Krampus spell just all by itself, or it was the Hellhound spell. I cannot remember which. Well, either way, despite my not knowing what's what, I did get all of the spellaments I needed for these two spells. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. But first, I need to ask, has anybody seen any spellaments for the uh, Storm Wizard minion? He's my next goal I have to get, because he's one of the most useful spells for my wizard. Um, but he's so weak. Useful, but weak. Ugh, whatever. So let's see what this is about. I want to know if unlocking this turns it into a treasure card or a normal spell. You want to unlock the next tier of the spell? Sure. Woo! Oh, that was a nifty little thing. Krampus spell. Oh, that's adorable. Alright. But theoretically, what does that... Does that mean that, like, I have it now? Yes! It does! Interesting. You, I'm gonna add one of you, and the 
next time I have to go to Rumble, I'm gonna try them out, because I want to see what they do. And by what they do, I mean I want to go see their fancy battle, uh, thing. The thing they do when they fight. <laughs> I also sorted this out. Kind of bland right now, but it'll get better. consequences of uh, getting all of the packs I needed for those two spells was that I got a bunch of random winter gear that kind of uh, boosted my stats. Not in a bad way, I just wasn't really expecting it to help me much. So now I want to go I want to go see what I can do with this. Because I am interested. Get what the hot key button for mounting and dismounting is. Is it M? No, that's the map. Damn it! <laughs> Whatever. Wait, what did I do? Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> Hi. Hi again! I got all those pets safely back to the pavilion, but now I've got another problem. My enrollment application is missing! Of course it is. I came here all the way from Marleybone to study under the great necromancer Malastare Drake, who's apparently evil now, and they lost my forms! Oh, yeah, I, I don't think a necromancer would ever not be evil. The headmaster's office is packed to the brim with students, and I don't know what to do. Do you know if there's a registrar we could talk to? Yeah. Let's just go talk to the, uh... Why? Why are you like this? Why must you be like this? Just take me to the one I am currently working on. Bloody hell. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm doing, then read my mind! I dare you. You'll get lost in there. What brings you by, wizard? A registration form for Penny Dreadful? Mm, I'm afraid I don't see it here. Which means either she didn't submit one, or it has been moved to the Archivium Malatorium, where it is guarded by the Mad Wraith. We care about protecting personal information. What part of that made sense? Or it's on Headmaster Ambrose's desk and he just hasn't gotten to all his paperwork this week. Check with him before trying anything else. Well, I'm going to assume it's that last there that 
that second one, I guess. Wow, okay. Hey, it's very rare that you're in here all by yourself. Yeah. They the need dreadful on. of the Marleybone dreadfuls. Why, I taught her adopted parents. Wonderful students. Now let me find her application. Uh, let's see, uh, papers to grade, budgetary proposals. Oh, a live frog. <laughs> Duncan Grimwater's Ode to Malastare, verses one to five. <laughs> ah, here we go. Stamped and approved. But I'm afraid this delay has left her rather behind in her coursework. How? There's no death school anymore. After the fall of the death school, I moved the students to independent studies. Take this assignment to Penny. Oh, perhaps you can help her catch up. Well, okay. I guess that makes sense, but... Oh, whatever. I don't want to pretend... I want to you to introduce that. yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. Okay. And you have another one for me? Wizard, I have heard you rescued an assortment of pets from old Judd. Do you still have the one you adopted? If so, do make sure to visit Milo Barker in the Pet Pavilion. He can walk you through everything you need to know about raising, training, and improving your pet. Nice. Alright, um, I feel like I got really sidetracked just now. Um, oh, hey, I need that. Cool. I need more of that. Where is more? <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Actually, it's really eerie how there are no players on right now. This place is normally packed with players. My application? Oh, thank you! And independent study, huh? I just enrolled and I've already got homework! You sound excited about that. But if you're willing to help me, maybe we can get this done real quick. It can't be any harder than fighting a zombie, right? Let's see. The assignment is called Battle Tactics of the Undead. Huh. Guess we'll be fighting all the zombies. <laughs> I love how optimistically morbid... Or depre optimistically depressing she is. Normally, it says we'd be granted access to the sealed caves. But, uh, that ship has sailed. The undead are everywhere now. I think the best way to do this is for both of us to fight everything on this list and compare notes. We'll have more reliable observations that way. Fight lost souls, okay. skeletal pirates, rotting fodder and field guards and then meet me back here. This quest has multiple simultaneous objectives. You can see them all by opening your quest log. Use these arrow keys to select the objective you wish to complete first, and the quest arrow will point you to it. <laughs> and to think, some of the players on my other accounts think I'm crazy for going after the badges for the Undead Slayer event. To that, I say you're the crazy ones. The game practically begs you on its knees to collect those god 
damn badges. The least you can do is oblige. I know there is a smith hiding here somewhere. It's the soul of wit. Excuse you. Once more, from the top, this time with yeah, thank you. To thine own self be true, and it must follow, as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Jeez, you live in a world of magic and still have to perform? How sad. <laughs> Anyway, I got the smith here, so... Shopping district and old town smith. Oh, there's one on Unicorn Way, too, that I haven't found. Okay. So I have a lot of different places to go to right now. Oh, I also have to see if I can find uh, Castle Block recipes. Go to hell with your crappy ass castle blocks. It's the worst feature ever added to this game. I swear to god. Get to level 10 before I can get the novice storm deck. Alright. Is my game glitching, by the way? Because it is so weird seeing this place so empty. Yes. 
Smith. Cool. No, I just need the ones from Unicorn Way and Old Town. Oh, that reminds me. I've got Dagger of Absolution side quest. I have enough to make one dagger, but I need two more cattails and two more mistwood if I want to complete that quest. So I hate to admit it, but I do appreciate how this horse is easier to ride than the wolf. The Celestial Wolf has some really janky uh, control mechanics that make me constantly have to zigzag all over the place. It's just a weird little problem with it. I've noticed. But this uh, reindeer seems to control much easier than him. Alright, so. That's the road to Colossus Boulevard. Um. Comments? Wait, where am I trying to go right now? I need to go through the comments to get Unicorn Way. It sounds dumb to waste time on this, but it will uh, pay off eventually. Oh, I also have to speak to this guy, too. Let's not do that. Move through. Mm Sometimes when I'm bored on my other characters, I, uh, I tend to go around and collect resources from all over the place, and then sell them in bulk at the brazier, or the brazier, but, uh, what is it, wooden chest? Oh. me into your tent. I know you're hiding the smith in there. <laughs> Actually, where the hell is he? <laughs> um... 
I don't remember having to look for a Smith in Unicorn Way. Don't I have to fight some of you guys? Yeah, because you're lost souls, so I need battle data from them. Both of those right here. Oh, I can try this out. <laughs> My cute little guy does a weird circus dance and then becomes a not so little guy. Triton Avenue. So, guess I'll go there next. 
Wait, I just gotta keep over here. Greetings! My name is Diego Santiago Corriquez Ramirez III, Champion Duelist. Diego Santiago Corriquez Ramirez III. Okay. The Jewel Master bows with a great flourish of his cape. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and gain endless glory and fame. Hmm. To try your hand against your classmates, enter the arena and step into the dual circle. Aha! Hello there, my friend! Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? <sighs> Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Really Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. That is a clockwork golem. Please do not refer to it as a puppet. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Okay. Every round you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. Whoops, you missed. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! There's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Oh. I didn't know that part. Only for spells in my class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That explains a lot of the death I suffered in my own characters. That means you can cast any <laughs> second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. And it fizzles. <laughs> Storm wizards are such trolls. Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good! 
See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. Do you see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. Now watch what happens next round. And again. Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see... Okay, thank God. Let me out of here. No offense, Diego, but I really hate your arena.
I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place right now. Um... Oh, wait a minute, is she? Thug is over here in Golden Court, so... How'd your photos turn out? Wow! Looks like you're well on your way to becoming a professional photo dancer. Just keep snapping photos, and don't forget to say cheese! Hello again, wizard. You have quite the eye for photomancy, and I just learned about an exciting opportunity I think you'd be perfect for. Oh, thank you. The Spiral Geographic Society of Marleybone is going to publish a new magazine. They asked me for talented photomancers, and I thought of you. Please, no. Well, actually, and realistically speaking, if I could get some photos into the magazine, I probably would. Go find Hubbard Gardner and Marleybone. Show him some of your pics. I'm sure he'll want to use you for his magazine. I can't go to Marleybone. But thank you for trying. Triton Avenue. Carpetopia and Marleybone are my two most favorite worlds in this game. Well, okay, that's not true. I also really like, uh, Grizzleheim. Cyclops Lane. Triton Avenue. There we go. You there! Help! I'd rather not. <laughs> Wizard, do you see that device? You mean the flag? The tapestry thing? It's a teleporter. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. You can get where you're going quickly. Oh. I see. I changed the design of the teleporters. I'm lucky you came along. No, you're not. Give me all your money. <laughs> Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad! My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control. But we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. I hate you. All you had to do was use the sidewalk. Bastard. Oh, hey, this gives me an opportunity.
are like blast cannons. We can pack a lot of punch, but we can't take a lot of hits. And of course our magic is the uh, also that. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to uh, collect See if there's any opportunity for me to go wild again. Huh, that's weird. Why oh, don't tell me they made it like a fire class only spell? That would be such a pain in the ass. I need more information on this spell. This one has it too. Which worries me. Um. Oh, the, the treasure card has it as well. So. If the treasure card has it, then it can't be an exclusive class spell, especially since I was able to learn it. So, and, uh...
what are these? I'm sorry. What? There are pips exclusive to the different schools? I... What? Well, now I have to look that crap up. Alright, so... The range in a night requires three normal pips and one ice bowl cap and Krampus requires two normal pips and fire skill. Such bullshit, but okay. Also, I need to figure out how to take proper screenshots of this game, because... Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. You absolutely could have gotten here. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I couldn't help but overhear. You're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, <laughs> I may be able to assist. Really? How? It's time for an assignment. Please come pick it up at the school. Sure, Halston. It's not as if the street that's basically dedicated to your class is, like, going haywire or anything. I'll definitely drop everything and go talk to you for a while. Duncan Grimwater, Necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Malastair were here. He could stop all this madness instantly. If only he were still alive. Malastare is alive? Impossible! I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Malastare was a great man, the greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. Cool. Did he tell me where he saw the wand? Greetings, wizard. Thank goodness you're here. The undead are making a mess of everything, but they're only the beginning. Storm magic flows through Triton Avenue in a steady current, or at least it did, until all this craziness started. Now the flow has been diverted. It's making the storm creatures that live in the river angry. Lightning eels have swarmed up from the depths and are slithering the muck. If they aren't driven away, their electrical charge could unbalance things even more. Can you go drive some of them away? Uh, sure. I'm pretty certain I was supposed to go kick their asses anyway. So... I believe this is what is called a symbiotic relationship.
to kill two more of these things, right? Yeah. I'm still uh, salty about the school specific tip thing. understand if instead of being combat related the school specific tips were instead of, like a crafting material because that makes a bit more sense but Well done. That should stabilize things a little. I hope it's enough. Do you think you might do me another favor? You see, I work at the mill across the river. We grind lumina crystals. I was bringing in a load of raw crystals when everything went crazy. The haunting minions scattered my shipment all over the place. Can you round up some raw crystal barrels and bring them to me? I'll be in your debt. This is a collect quest, a special kind of side quest. Unlike most quests, collect quests have no quest arrow. Good luck exploring. Okay. You just assumed I accepted the quest before I even said it, so... 
Excellent. Susie is still alive. I can sense it from her wand. I think I can find her, but there's one more thing I need. I know a ritual that could grant me a vision of wherever Susie is. It's very advanced. I'm not surprised you don't know it. <laughs> There's still a copy of old shit, Duncan. Oh no, we have the same name. Oh no! You're the reason why I picked that name. <laughs> oh, crap. The connection between Susie and her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another, and I think I know what will work. When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That doesn't make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? They were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. Alright, well, I can't cross... Wait, can I? No, I don't think I can. No, no, this comes after. You. The Kraken. That bastard has been the death of me. At least 50 times. If I count all of my characters together. And it's so annoying, too, because he's actually a really easy boss fight. Oh, I still need to fight the Rod and Cotter. Oh, I got the Okay. I got Triton as a new Smith. Ha 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 ha. Ha <laughs> 
Now, let's see what I can see. If I'm right, and I usually am, whoever's enchanting these storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Nothing? Whoever this is, they have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged Lumina crystal. They make Lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Blad Raven Eye and get us a crystal. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, but... I don't really care about this sister. Can I go? <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious to see what my teacher wants. I'll be back. Wait, can't I just... Yeah, I can. Everything is fine again. Ha, ha, ha. So, you want to do some research, huh? Great. Librarian Harold Argleston needs a Leyden jar. He's been doing a lot of experiments lately. The task at hand is to build one. Go to Lady Oriel and get some copper for the lining. What the hell is a Leyden jar? Oh, 
copper, right? Is this like a homemade uh, uh, light bulb? Professor Halston Bailstrom needs some copper? Why, sure, I have some. Wish him good luck from me. Huh. You are surprisingly agreeable. understand how this works, but it's here. I mean, I kind of get the gist of his whole thing, but... Hmm. Did he have to make such a large mess while he was at it? Oh, I also have to figure out, uh, how the hell did you screenshots in this game? I'm not playing it through Steam, so I can't just use my normal, uh, Steam screenshot thing. And the game seems to keep focusing on the loading screen whenever, uh... Excellent work! Now, let me line the jar with copper! Line the jar with copper. Finished! Okay, now you'll need to talk to Torrance and fill it with rainwater. He should know what to do from there. Hmm. Line a jar with copper. And then fill it with rainwater. Interesting. Oh! You are here to fill the jar with rainwater? Very well. We'll fill it up. That should do it. You can now give the jar to Librarian Harold Argleston. Wish him good luck for me. This is excellent. Just what I need for my experiments. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Oh. Upon further examination of this laden jar, it could use a good charging. Could you take this outside the library and charge it? You hear a hissing deep within the earth. 
So, you need that charged? I can help you with this. Why do I suddenly feel like the devil is trying to make a deal with me? <laughs> It's so random of... I don't want to think about my spells being able to speak to me. Where did that thing even come from? That's perfect, thanks. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. What was the point of this mission? Normally, the homework assignments teach your list of new spells, but this... I don't understand. <laughs> hmm. So Harold Argelson liked the Leyden Jar! Oh, that's excellent news! But you ended up doing most of the work. Here is a little reward for you. Oh, okay. I'll be honest, I forgot about that spell. I never used it. <laughs> I need some bullshit things for those. Let's just put these two spells in there and see what happens. If only I had a table to put it on. Let's 
level am I right now? I'm only level 7. Sorry, Volodir, but I know there's a level requirement on your thing, so... Um... All of us back to that guy, right? Summer Sunblade. Huh. Okay. Ah! The lights! Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, good. My shipment's recovered. I'll get them the rest of the way. Thank you, wizard. We didn't drive the eels away fast enough. The storm magic surge lured a kraken up out of the deep. It'll wreck everything if you don't stop it. You could use this teleporter to reach the kraken. Ah, but it's broken. The rotting fodder stole its keystone. Get it back and double quick. Ah! You've been working hard. Come see me. I have something new to teach you. I just walked away from you. Hey, uh... Why is there a dinosaur here? If you have that, something tells me you don't need to be here. Hey, what? Hey. Illumina crystal, you're out of luck. The undead stole all my crystals. I've got lots of raw crystal. I could grind you another one, but the mill's broken. Undead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. It seems like the undead are the main problem here. But even if I could grind you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. My lightning rod won't work. A Scarlet Screamer stole the primary coil. Another undead stole something? You could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil back from the Scarlet Screamers, and I'll get you a crystal. God. Damn, you need a priest. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's loaded. Okay. I might as well just wait for it to finish because otherwise. This is gonna get really annoying. <sighs> Please hurry up.
It is a scrapbook that belonged to my cousin, Sylvia Drake. Once, she was a teacher here, till the dreadful cold claimed her. Some monster called Skulls put her stole Sylvia's scrapbook and took it to his skull fort. If only someone could get it back for me. Yes, it's a damn shame uh, a grown-ass man can't just walk right up to them and take it back himself. Okay. I'm sorry, I know that my arguments are just defeating the point of the game, but why are all of these adults trusting a child to do all this work for them? <laughs> oh, it's so amusing to see it happen to the enemies. Wait, that works on the enemy? So if they have a storm spell they're going to use on me, I can change their storm damage to... So we can build a tag. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
It didn't work the last time I tried. So, that's good to know. I really need to feed my kitty. Alright, um... this soggy place and be bother you if this coil's so precious to you take it um okay there we go the control stopped working for a second there <laughs> all right I'm gonna see what the frog wants. Um. Hello. There we go. Actually, now that I think about it, Thermic Golem. I don't remember that one being a spell I could get. Interesting. Was that recently added? And why isn't the Storm Minion mentioned on that list? I'm going to need the storm minion if I'm going to uh, do this crazy endeavor that I've got going. So my intention here is to eventually solo this entire game as a storm wizard because. Uh, 
I apparently enjoy having a problem on my hands. <laughs> Oh, jeez. But even though the goal of the game right now is to try and beat it without any help from other people, um, I'm still gonna need assistance from the NPC characters, I think that. Splendid! So... Now, put those cogs to good use and get the old wheel turning. I'll fix the lightning rod. Cool. What am I supposed to do? Oh. All right, we're ready. Here, just pull this lever and we'll charge that Lumina crystal right up. Well done, wizard! So many extra steps. Thanks to you, I'm back in business! Cool. Here you are. One brand new, fully charged Lumina Crystal. She's a beauty. I hope she serves you well. I wonder what... Uh, no. I wonder what, uh, what laws will be violated if somebody actually constructed a water melt like this. Lumina crystal. This should be just what we need. I the Lumina you. crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time. I'm sure of it. It's working. Oh, hello. I need to fight one of you. Susie, I can see her. But what was that horrifying thing with her? That scarecrow? That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. Nice. Because you can't get any more edgy than that. It looked like she's in Galvano's tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. Why don't you free her yourself? You're also a wizard. You know, okay. I understand the context. The hero from another world summoned to solve everyone else's problems. Yada, yada, yada. But the truth of the matter is, uh, my character is just using the same old spells and magic that uh, everyone else in this world has access to. So. I don't really understand why I have to be the one to do all of this. You have been asked to enter a dungeon. To go inside, you will need to stand on that sigil next to the door. Once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you. Why are you telling me this? 
Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, another soul to harvest. I knew my little prisoner would draw more to me, like flies to honey. <laughs> yeah, don't get too cocky here. You're a subpar enemy at best. Or at least you're supposed to be. Wait, my dark master warned me about you. Ha! Imagine the reward he will give me when I present him your very soul. <laughs> Why do you have this? Help! Attack him, you dumbass. You're armed. He hasn't taken anything from... Wait, is that your wand? I thought you didn't have your wand. What? As... Oh, whatever. Defending yourselves.
grand design is nearly complete. Triton Avenue is doomed. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Meet me outside, wizard. I need your help. Cool. Um. There we go. The ancient Tritons were creatures of the sea, and heirs to the power of the Storm Titan. It is thought they used their command of lightning to create technological wonders. But, if true, their inventions were lost to uncertain tides. The Tritons isolated themselves from their dragon and giant contemporaries, but were often blamed for cataclysms on the land or in the skies. Eventually, they retreated to hidden oceans, seldom ever seen again, though some suspect there is a world of Tritons waiting to be found. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> What's this? Oh, I see. I just kind of stole someone's stuff. Um. All right. Oh, I didn't know this was an option. Wait, did I get a treasure for beating this guy? I overheard the Harvest Lord's plans. He was raising an army of rotting fodder armed with storm magic to attack Wizard City. But there's more! The Tempest Nexus up on the ridge channels storm energy into Triton Avenue. The Harvest Lord diverted the flow of energy to enchant the amulets. But after he finished the amulets, he directed the flow back on itself. The Nexus will explode and take Triton Avenue with it. Use the teleporter by the mill to reach the Tempest Nexus. I'll meet you up there. Hmm. Yes, okay. So... The Pumpkin King has made has debuted as a, um, a bombing terrorist, I guess. Cool. Let's go turn that off. Worse than I thought. The Nexus could explode at any moment. The controls, uh, they aren't working. I can't set it right. Professor Bellstrom knows more about storm magic than anyone. Go ask him for help. I'll try to keep the Nexus stable. Hurry. You can get to Ravenwood and back quickly by pressing the mark button to set your location. Give it a try. Why are you opening now and telling me? Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons, and then head to Ravenwood. And honestly, wouldn't this cause more of a panic in a real-life situation? 
He rushes to your teacher instead of the headmaster, telling him that there's been a bomb threat. Hello, wizard! What? The Tempest Nexus is going to explode? Oh dear me, we can't have that! Here, take this master key, ring it against the metal of the Nexus three times, and the feedback loop should end! Good luck, and move quickly! If you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. You did it, wizard! Triton Avenue is saved! Okay. Um, you didn't happen to run into my little brother Archer anywhere, did you? He's all right? Thank goodness. Take me to him. It'll be good to see him again. You say as you rush past me. I'm sorry, I'm just nitpicking now. <laughs> you rescued Susie! All's well. The Harvest Lord has been driven back into the shadows, and the storm energy is flowing again. There's still a lot of undead roaming around, but without the Harvest Lord to direct them, we can handle them. I'll help. So, the Harvest Lord said he had a Dark Master. Track that master down, wizard, so Malastare's memory can be redeemed. Maybe you should leave that for later. For now, tell Sergeant Muldoon that things are calming down. Now that things are calming down... I hope to go back to investigating what brought me here in the first place. A massive surge of death magic. The haunted cave is a powerful nexus of death magic. It could be the source of all the undead troubles plaguing Wizard City. The rotting fodder and scarlet screamers kept me from reaching the cave before, but with your help, I think I can make it. The cave is across the river at the far end of Triton Avenue. Let's go investigate. Alright. What do you want? Uh, I'm glad to be free of the Harvest Lord. He said he was gonna steal my soul. You stopped him before he could, but he needed some of my possessions to do the ritual. He sent his minions to bury my Athame, Spellbook, and Spell Deck in mystically resident places. Whatever that means. I don't think I could find them, but maybe your pet could sniff them out. I really need to get my stuff back. Will you help me? This quest requires you to have a pet and guide it to each goal. If you have a pet, equip it from the pet tab in your spellbook. With a pet equipped, you can control it directly. Click the pet button on the bottom left of the screen, then press the pet mode button. Playing as your pet will make certain items and objectives available that weren't before. But likewise, pets can't talk to most people or engage in wizard duty. You can play as your pet until its happiness runs out. Replenish happiness by feeding the pet snacks. I understand it's a mechanic, but... Do you understand that the way you worded it makes it sound like existence is too much of a chore for my pet to put up with? Essentially, you just said that by making my pet get up and do things, I'm making it miserable. And where the hell is the exit? This place is so topsy turvy. Triton Avenue's not going to explode? <laughs> well, I should hope not. Sounds like things are getting sorted out. What a relief. Whew, thanks, wizard. 
My little kitty cat hops and skips around. Now, if only I could fix his unfortunate name. <laughs> Just remember. I probably should have done this on the get go. Mind him, he's just sunbathing. Just being here is really awkward without any music. I still haven't found a music player anywhere. Those are quite nice indeed. I am pleased to award you a novice crafter badge. Display it with pride. When you earn a new crafting badge, you can buy more advanced recipes, allowing you to create new and more powerful items. I said I could get you started, and you've certainly grasped the fundamentals of crafting. That's all I can teach you. To become a master artisan, you must learn the crafting styles of all the worlds of the spiral. Hmm. Pretty hard to do when new worlds keep getting added. If you wish to continue your studies, you should go to speak with William in Krakatopia. He will be happy to continue your training. Sure thing. Hi. I am Balder Goldpaws, a trader from far off Grizzleheim, and I've just discovered this world. I have sailed across the great sea of skies, establishing new ports to trade my wares in. If prospectors, I would like to establish trade relations with the merchants here, if they be friendly. Can you help me? 
If Prospector Zeke is here, go speak to him. Then speak to your treasure card dealer and anyone who sells furniture. If you can do that for me, I will be thankful. Sure thing. I feel like I've gotten sidetracked again. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this real quick. There's too much stuff in this game to deal with. Which would normally not be a bad thing, but, uh, given my short tension span. Hey, what? No. Maybe. Okay. Oh, hey. Gonna talk to Z. Hey there, young wizard. How's it going for you so far? You explain that Balder Goldpaws ask you to help set up trade relations between Grizzleheim and Wizard City. That's great. Old Zeke's always happy to do business with the bears. Tell Balder I'll trade with him. Why do I have to talk to the librarian? Hello there, young student. Welcome to the library. Can I help you find any book or card in particular? You tell Mr. Argleston about the trade agreement Balder is trying to set up. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I would be happy to trade treasure cards with Grizzleheim. I wonder if we can set up a library exchange program. Oh, you're the treasure card dealer. Alright. I don't know why that took me till now to put that one there. Um. Welcome to my shop, young wizard. Can I interest you in some furniture for your dorm room? Tempting, but no. You tell Mr. Quickhammer about the flying boat with the trader from Grizzleheim. That's great. I offer a selection of furnishings from across the spiral. Adding imports from Grizzleheim will certainly be good for my business. Did you get agreement from the three merchants? Yes. Good! You have brought two worlds closer together. You have my thanks. I would like to reward you for your help getting your merchants to agree to trade with my world. Would you like to take a quick trip with me to visit Grizzleheim, my home? It will not take long now that I know the way. You can greet some tradesmen from Grizzleheim and see if they will trade with Wizard City. In Grizzleheim, speak to Thrain Stormfriend, Vider Silverthread, and Dane Goldright. Let them know I sent you with word of new trade partners. Sure thing. Ha <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, because we didn't take the train. Gotcha. And then there's this guy. 
Hey gang, thanks for checking out my music, and I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Yeah, apparently Nick Jonas orchestrated all of the music for Nesselheim. So... This catchy little tune here in the background is all him. You look like you could use a new rune-carved ring. I have just the one in stock. <laughs> Before he tries to sell you something, you explain about the trade agreement. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Sign me up. You should head back to tell Balder that we're willing to trade. You there! Can I interest you in a new robe? This is a cold land, and you should try to stay warm. What size are you? Probably smaller than what you've got. You explain that you're not robe shopping. You're here to set up trade with Wizard City. Hmm. Trade with Wizard City? I can certainly do that. <laughs> I will have to get some smaller sizes in stock, though. <laughs> Welcome, young outsider. Where are you from, and what can I do for you? You explain that you're from Wizard City, and that you're here to set up trade with Grizzleheim. Sounds good to me. I'll trade with anyone with gold in their pocket. It's a shame that they've got guards blocking me from venturing any further. This, uh, little world of theirs has a, uh, level requirement. And until I meet that requirement, I can't come back to it, so... Maybe someday, but not right now. Oh, well. I like Grizzleheim. It's like my favorite of the worlds. They are in agreement, then. Good news! We have done well this day. Ready yourself. I will take you home now. It was a pleasure working together. I wish you well in your future journeys. Interesting. The notification didn't come up. Oh well. I should really do something about my pet. Oh, wait, I can just feed it right here? Um... Oh shit, why didn't you say so? lively than I remember it being. Oh, right. I just don't have things in Trent Nazareth. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go finish that up. Or maybe not. This is running kind of long. Um... Yeah, you know what? No. I'm going to end this video here. We can do more stuff 
uh, next time. So, yeah. If you liked the video, feel free to like, comment, maybe subscribe. And if you didn't like it, that's perfectly fine too. Because there's plenty of other stuff on the channel for you to watch. So. Ah, no, don't get distracted. <laughs> Bye, everybody!